Hey guys, it's Crystal aka Queen BRZ back with another little video for you. So as you can see, I'm here in Ontario at ARC Performance and I'm here to pick up something very exciting so stay tuned to see what it is. Alright guys, so here it is. It is the ARC Grip Exhaust and as you can see it does have the burnt tips at the end and I'm so excited to get this onto my car. Finally a new exhaust. Um, I did want to give a shout out and a huge thank you to um, ARC Performance. Uh, they really hooked it up with something nice and I'm just, they always, they're known for their great quality products and I just can't wait to do a review on it for you. Okay everyone, we are magically back at our garage and now it's time to go ahead and jack up the car and get this old exhaust off so that we can put the new one on. Alrighty guys, so the car is now jacked up and I'm just about to remove my old exhaust. Um, if you've never removed an exhaust before, this is a great video to reference just because this is an axle back exhaust and it is very similar to um, stock exhaust. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and remove this 14 millimeter nut and bolt from the pipe. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be doing is removing the exhaust hangers from the exhaust. And um, I'm going to be using this exhaust hanger tool. If you don't have one, I highly recommend getting one just because they do make life a lot easier. They're about $10 on Amazon. Um, otherwise, you're going to be trying to pry it out with a screwdriver and that just takes way too much time. So um, let me go ahead and get this first one off. So now that the exhaust is off, we can take a better look at it. Um, this is why the hanger tool comes in handy. It was kind of hard to show you um, with the dim lighting underneath the car, but I wanted to kind of give you a quick demonstration of how you use it. So it just uses um, the rod as a support. And you squeeze until it comes off like so. And of course, if you didn't have this, you would just be using a screwdriver and it's gonna be a really long time, but this definitely saves you a lot of time and energy, so I would highly recommend one of these. What we're gonna go ahead and do is remove these bushings um, from all, each side of the exhaust because we're gonna be reusing them for our new exhaust. All right guys, so I apologize. Um, I did catch that I had some audio issues. I forgot to turn on the microphone. But um, what I did here was I removed the um, mid pipe here from the front pipe and they were connected by two bolts, um, the 14 millimeter bolts with a 12 millimeter nut and I just connected those. Um, the next thing was I just removed this bushing um, right down here and um, once I took it off the mid pipe of course fell like I was expecting so you want to make sure that you do catch it so that it doesn't hit you in the face like it almost just hit me right now. But um, the mic is on now so... Hopefully I don't have to be doing these narrations anymore. Guys, so while I am under here, I did want to give a quick shout out to Quick Jack. Um, this is what we're doing right now. Of course, like everybody jacking our car up, putting them up on jack stands and squishing into really tight places. Even a small girl like me really struggles. So if you want to hook it up with a Quick Jack, shoot, I would not mind because my claustrophobic self is like freaking out today. But yeah, I love you guys, by the way. Alright guys, so let's take a quick look at what we have here. Um, right now I'm just trying to piece everything together and see where it all goes. It's kind of a little puzzle. Um, right off the bat, I did want to point out um, that I noticed these hem hold resonators. And um, basically what they do is it kind of minimizes the amount of drone that you hear so that you get more of the sound that you want. Um, again, I just wanted to point out that I do have my little burnt tips down here looking super beautiful and blue and although um, I know they're not gonna last forever um, I think it's worth it for the temporary look so and I, I'll take good care of them also the welds are really nice which is definitely something that you can expect with arc they always they're very known for their 
high quality products and amazing welds and of course that really high quality sound that we all want to hear um, they're known for their good products and they're a very great reliable company so I'm really excited this is my first art product so we'll go ahead and put it on my car test it out and see how it sounds I'm so excited Alrighty guys, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and install the mid pipe and I was trying to look and see which side was the back, figured out that the one with the donut gasket is the one that faces towards the back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and roll it down on my big red little roller here and get started. Alrighty guys, so I just removed the old donut gasket right now um, from the front pipe and now I have to put on the new donut gasket that um, Arc provides us, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that really fast before I get the bolts all on. Alrighty, guys, so now that the gasket is put on, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the mid pipe into place and screw everything in and then bolt it down. Alright, guys, so I have everything put into place, but we don't want it to be super tight. Um, I'm gonna keep it loose right now until we get everything adjusted and then I'm gonna tighten it down. Okay, everybody, so. Now I'm trying to get this sectional pipe connected to my mid pipe and I'm having to fiddle around with it a little bit just because um, it is kind of in a funky spot but luckily my parents forgot to turn me when I was little so now I have a flat spot on the back of my head and um, I'm a very positive person so I'm utilizing this flat spot to my advantage so I'm not uncomfortable laying on this hard ground <laughs> because of this flat spot so thank you parents, I appreciate it. So Arc provides us with this gasket that we're going to be putting in between our mid pipe and our sectional pipe, like so. Okay, and then the sectional pipe is also going to be um, connecting to a bushing that we removed earlier. Okay, so now um, before I get everything tightened down, I'm going to go ahead and put the sectional pipe into the bushing. Alright, so um, this is the bushing that we're going to be using to connect to my car and we looped it up a little bit here. So I'm just sticking that on and then connecting it like so. Alright, and everything is coming along really nicely. So now let's go to the next step. Alrighty guys, so now for the fun part, we're going to get the mufflers on. Okay, so I have the first piece put into place here. I'm just going to go and put um, the exhaust hangers on and then get the other side done. Okay, so as you can see, we're just going to um, connect this like it was connected before. So we're going to push the exhaust hangers into the little hole on the bushing. Okay, so now to get the last part on and then we, of course we have to use this gasket and then we can get everything tightened down. Alrighty, so everything is put into place. Um, nothing is tightened down yet, but um, as you can see, the exhaust is a bit off-centered, and that is the reason that we didn't want to tighten anything down, um, just so that we can make those adjustments and make sure that before we tighten it, it is centered. Okay, now everything is put on, tightened down, and into place, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start my car so we can hear the initial start up of the exhaust and then I'm gonna wait for it to warm up a little bit um, before I take it out and you can hear what it sounds like. of the exhaust um, it's going to be a four and a half inch tip a two and a half inch pipe and up to 92 decibels which is well within the legal limit so I'm just in love guys I'm so excited and we were going over the quality earlier and just the welds on it are really great um, of course I think the tips do add um, a little nice touch to it so I'm gonna be feeling super cool on or at the next meet but um, yeah let's 
hear what it sounds like. Really quick, I'm just gonna rev it a bunch now that it's warmed up so I can do a quick comparison of my old exhaust. I wanted to point out the burnt tips down here. Um, I really love the contrast and I especially love how on the side it kind of gives off a little purple tint to it which fits in perfectly with my whole galaxy theme. Um, and then of course it um, you can see the ARC logo right here on the top. I love that burnt exhaust smell or that new exhaust smell. It smells like burnt hair. Amazing. Love it. But. I'm so impressed with everything guys. I hope you like it and um, the way it sounds as much as I do. And of course, I'm still gushing over these exhaust tips. Okay guys, so now I'm out on the open road. I have my windows down. I love how um, you don't hear so much drone. And honestly, I really love the deeper sound that I get. Um, I rolled up the windows. You can hear, obviously, it's not overpowering inside the car. I'm in cruising mode right now. Um, I'm going 57 in fourth gear, going up, and it's just, it sounds so great. It, nothing is overpowering in the car, which is what I love. But on the outside, oh my gosh, it just sounds uh, really, really nice and full. Um, and it's a lot deeper of a sound than my old exhaust. Um, I have the Gretti SP Axoback exhaust and I really honestly love this one a lot more. So I'm very impressed with um, just the overall uh, sound of the exhaust and I think I'm really gonna like it. I wanted to thank Arc Performance um, once again. I do highly recommend them. Um, I'm, again, I'm blown away by their exhaust and I know they do have a really good reputation. So if you're looking into a new exhaust, I definitely recommend trying out Arc. Um, but once again, guys, um, that's pretty much all I have for today. If you like my video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I think that's all I have. So until next time, Queen BRZ out. I fall in love too easily I'd fall in love too fast